So, as you guys can see here, these are weeds, right? And this is chamomile. Now, chamomile is a very sensitive plant and it's hard to grow. So you see, I only have three chamomile plants here, but for the record, when I planted this over a month ago, I put seeds here, here, and here. Only weeds came here, but here's a chamomile. So, but before we're gonna do that, let me introduce myself. This is number one here, and we're going to plant some chamomile so we can have a nice big chamomile plant. Here we go. You can see, I'm taking our old little miracle grow for gardeners, for er for vegetables and herbs. I think chamomile is an herb. I don't know. The big shovel for this. I'm gonna put the chamomile in this container right here. Also, there are holes in the bottom of it, okay, that we poked holes with it with an ironized, iodized nail. So then, you know, the chamomile and the water can like breathe. zucchini that I was gonna make zucchini french fries with I never get around to it so then it becomes compost oh that's how you pinch the penny huh You're using that's your... how I pinch the penny this time because instead of throwing out the zucchini which I never made the french fries out of I went ahead and I saved it to make it a compost okay the other thing is I put in some mushrooms I'm gonna smash them. Again, I didn't throw them out like I was telling you before. A lot of things you don't have to throw because it makes it a natural compost. So we're gonna put it in because, as we know, as we have learned that chamomile is a very delicate plant. So all the support we can give it is what we wanna do. So here, I'm gonna put this all in number one. And uh, we're gonna put it in. Now so, do I dig it? like? Turn it together like it's soup. We're gonna no, put more so, dirt on top. Yeah, you're gonna put. We're gonna put more dirt on top of this. We're gonna get our handy hole, hand hole. I'm gonna let you borrow my handy hand hole here, and we're gonna just mix it in. Once you put the dirt on top of it, you mix it in. All right, guys. So you could see before where the compost was. Now it's like one uniform like thing, like system of good dirt and compost. So when you're stirring your own compost in from your own refrigerator, uh, make sure to stir it in really good. Like you wanna mix it so that all of your dirt gets actually involved in the compost because that's where the nutrition is. It's in all of the layers of your dirt, not just the top one. It should look like this, nice and mixed. Like when you're cooking a cake and you're mixing the flour and the water and the sugar and all of that comes together when you add the water and the oil and it's just like one uniform thing, that's what your compost and your dirt needs to look like, one uniform thing. Okay, and so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add myself some dirt, and then we're gonna plant the chamomile and then plant some more seeds around. After I stir this, what I'm gonna do is add a whole nother layer of dirt, like to this, like this, pan, this little pot thing has like a line right here. 
And so from where the shovel is underneath, that's where I'm gonna put the new dirt. And then I'm gonna plant my chamomile. This right here, this is in my weight class. I have to lift this up now. Dump it in. Make sure when you're lifting to bend your knees, okay? No back sprains here. dirt until after I plant the chamomile and then I'm gonna just water it one more time and then it should be good to go. All right let me move this dirt out of the way. Okay so I'm going to take my chamomile alone for fibers this little like tulip tool that I have and I'm gonna just push it inside the dirt and it like grabs the dirt and it leaves like a little hole for me, which is great because you know what, guys? I really hate, I love gardening, but I hate getting my hands dirty. So it's like, you know, it's not as dirty as it could be. Then I'm gonna take this little container, right? And I just pinch it. And I softly remove my cap. I'm gonna. I'm using some of the old dirt from my chamomile to put in here because it's less of a shock for the plants. I just plant my little babies. Okay, so when you, because these caramels that I did, I planted them from seed. And sometimes you get like little weeds inside of it. So make sure when you're replanting your plants that you take off the plants that don't, that aren't yours, right? That just happen to be in your dirt too. They're like ride along plants. keep the root structure intact. That's this little dangly stuff at the bottom right here. And then you just plant it. Take off the stragglers. I think I can have like one more left. It's kind of... I don't really know if this is going to make it. That's why I say, you know, chamomile is super delicate, but you know, you gotta have hope. So let's plan it and see what happens. Okay, so now that I have planted all the ones that I grew from seed, so hopefully it grows into like a big bush. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my chamomile seeds. Okay, and then I'm just gonna plant them all in here. And, you know, cause you can actually never have too much chamomile, so. We'll be watching them, like these ones grow and then hopefully these little baby, like dust seeds grow. So when you're planting the chamomile, it should just be like an inch, an inch deep. Okay, that's like the tip of your index finger. This part right here. Okay, for those of you who do not like to get your fingers dirty, I got you. You can take a color pencil, which I know like majority of us have in our house, and you just measure it to your finger, and that's like a little tip right here, right? And then you can just stick that in there, and then it'll give you like how deep it should be. And I just sprinkle it in. I just sprinkle them in together, nothing really nasty. More here. The 
weird thing about chamomile seeds, it's like it's so fine that it's like dust. They literally could just blow away in the wind. It's so weird. But I think that's why they're so delicate like as a plant to like grow. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned from the next time number one comes up to teach you how to garden.